Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Best Mountain Farm. And so the old uh, fence driving hammer that we have, somebody, uh, somebody busted the handle out of it because they got a bad hit. We won't name any names, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> no, that's all right. We've got uh, this hammer is, where is that hammer at? Right there. So this hammer is, how old would you say this hammer is? Oh, it's way over 100 years old. I pick a screwdriver. And it's it's made for driving wooden stakes. And so we're going to make a new, um, hold on, Dad. we're going to make a new handle for it. It was more slab wood right there over. So we gotta get it out of this. We're making this handle out of beech wood because beech is uh <laughs> beech hickory ash, those are your best best to use. And we don't have any hickory two by fours or I use them all, so we're going to use this beech wood because it's beech really fine, hard. Yeah. Hard right, everybody to the barn. So just the hard wood is what you want to use for a hard you know? straight grain. Yeah, hard and straight grain. And I'll, I'll explain to you when I get it sawed out to see which way it looks like. I'll explain to you why you do it that way. Yeah. See how the grain's curved? We need the grain to be straight. But well, we'll, we'll be all right. It's just a wood split, Mom. See, we got a friction's the only thing that holds this hammer head on. So you got a big hole and a little hole. So we got to work this down to where it'll go through, except for about the last little bit, and then we'll work it down by hand. But if anybody's ever made a paper leg on the joiner, it's the same concept. It goes in here and then it goes in through. No, no wedge. Friction only. 
You drive through and you see these little dimples. If you need to, you put a little screw or something to keep it. But this is green wood. Yeah. But you can get that handle on there and then. And as it, as it dies, it shrinks. Yeah. It'll and this is green wood, so it's going to shrink a lot. So we got to be careful and keep it plenty big. finishes making this one we'll put it up on the shelf and they can go we'll make the one for the hammer sounds fair you break it you buy it or make it <laughs> or make it good for both which farrier work is shoeing horses for filing the hoof because see you've got a rough side and a smooth side all right don't go no smaller down there won't be no bigger than this. That's one thing I don't like about the handle. The hammer handle. Because it's little till it gets up into the bale. Alright bud. Run the corners off. Make it kind of oval. You got to match that shape right there. Just don't get any smaller than that. Don't get any smaller than that. It's easier if you'll hold it with your finger like that because you can hold down pressure and just let the weight of the file do the work. 
Just push it at a 45 degree angle kind of. See how fast that cuts? And the finger's kind of a guide. Push straight down hard right there. Just drag it, drag it back and forth. Don't ever take it off the wood, just drag it. But you want to go at a 45. family vice. I've never seen another one like it. The only one I have is Robert. Found one at an antique mall. Is it like this one? Yeah. No, I mean that's let out like that one? Yeah. This is the only one I've ever seen.
That's why I was trying to come back. Yeah. That right there. We don't. This is trash. Yeah. You want me to move it? Anyway. No, it'll fit all the way up. Oh hell, it's hmm? let's move it out here on the end. That's what I was saying. I, that's why I was wondering about that where I where I splintered that bad. Oh that's way bigger than what we're gonna be. If I got your if I got you right on there. Close enough. See we're gonna cut it off right there anyhow. Right. Daddy you always you made get, You want to get it done? I'll I'll take to him. Huh? Said so you want to get it done? I'll take to him. This is where I am, my mother's child. This is where I am too, because you saw how pretty I was trying to. Make. Today. Stay away from down here. Get this down from right there down. See this? See this line right here? See how it starts to bolt? Like I'm running, keeping that edge straight. Here, yeah. Let's let's put him a mark. No, we didn't. We missed our middle. Hold it down there. Hold it in the middle. Yeah, right there. Oh, you're trying to mark dead in the center? I want it dead in the middle. I want to give him a, a visual for what's going to be the top of the oval. Ignore all those marks. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Ignore all but, these marks. <laughs> yeah. Just the straight one. <laughs> The top of the oval is actually right in between these two. No, it ain't. Look, just got a sight down over it right here. That's right. the top of the oval right there. All right. It don't matter.
right there. Fish that for this week. Turn it. Thank you.
three wheel hook for this set. Before you use it, always bump it on the rocker. See how far it went. That's a pretty doggone good fit. And the prettiest thing. But it really don't matter. It's a for building stakes on a farm. All right, you don't have to break another, or you don't have to make another one, Aiden. You did most of that one. <laughs> I'll probably break the next one, put it in the box on the tractor. It'll be ready when we need it. And that's where it lives, right here with all our fence build stuff. Fine. All right, well, there you go. One finished. Kind of ugly, but very functional handle for goodness knows how many for this old hammer. Um, I, can you imagine how many stakes that hammerhead has driven? Oh, you won't think thousands, about it. Thousands, I thousands. I would like to have a thousands. dollar for every stake it's drove. We'd, we'd be rich people. Probably. We'd, we'd probably got $10,000 in the I don't bank. Know. Who knows? Pretty much all these stakes on this whole farm, and this when is the only part of it. This is like a quarter of what yeah, used to not even, or, or no, about 10%. So, no, about 5%. All right, everybody. There must be like 300 ish acres. Well, thanks for watching. And make sure and like, subscribe, and share if you want to see more of that old hammer in action. Because it's in action a lot. Oh, we're going to enjoy this pretty weather, and you guys have a uh, nice afternoon.